If you want to reuse an existing element somewhere else on your site and you also want to make sure that all of your future changes to this element stay in sync whenever you're using this element, then you should convert your normal element into a global element. And this is very simple. I'm going to show you this using this image gallery. All I need to do is just to right click on this element and then I click on save as global element. Now this element has been saved as a global element and if we scroll down in our elements panel, you can now see this image gallery global element. So when I move this over here, you can now see they are using the exact same settings and also the same content. So if I were to remove an image from here, you can see it updates immediately throughout every instance of this global element. Remove another one works the same way. Also for my CSS, if I remove my spacing, you can see the spacing is removed now. And of course, in case you would have multiple global images for the same element type, then you should definitely rename your global elements by clicking on your element and then just go over here. And then you can just call it, for example, gallery two columns. And that way I can have multiple global elements of the same element type. And I can distinguish them very easy just by having this unique name over here. To delete a global element, you just hover over your global element, click on delete and then confirm your change. And that way this global element here becomes a local element and they're all separated from each other. All right, that's everything you need to know about global elements.